Hi guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm, and I'm starting my feed bag, bag project. And I want to encourage you, if you don't know how to sew, to jump on the bandwagon. And I'll teach you what I know. I know there's lots of other YouTubes that show you how to sew. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to show you what's going on here today, just for a few minutes here. Now, I have my sewing machine. I started setting it up yesterday, and it was actually a little bit mis mis miserable. I was laughing because... If you haven't sewn in, sewn in a while, you get a little bit like, you feel like you're going to cry. Like, oh, I can't remember. And, but anyway, now I, I got things back to basics. So if you're wondering how to thread your machine, you put the spool of thread here. Your machine may be different, but they're basically pretty much the same. But this is just a refresher or for newbies. It kind of goes through here. You know, your machine should kind of guide you. And then it goes down through this little line here. And up, I'll move this little button over here, the, and uh, hooks through that, hooks through this little metal clip here, and down again, and into the needle, which there's a little gadget here, you go through there, and then you thread it through the needle hole. Now, I have an automatic beater, they're so temperamental that half the time I just do it by hand, and... Um, I have one of those inside bobbins, and I'm going to show you guys how to how to do that bobbin. Not today, but in another video because I have this all set up. But a piece of cake, I used, that was my biggest cry is this bobbin because I've had trouble with the bobbin. Okay, now Clay bought me this machine. Oh my goodness, probably about a year or so ago for my birthday or something. He might have just bought it for me because he knows I like to sew. So I'm enjoying it. But it's been a while since I've sewn. I sewed a little bit when I first got it. And then I think we just got caught up with the farm or something just because it was everything was new. I mean, granted, in a few days we will be married four years. So a lot of things are new to me. All right. Remember the feed bag project? The old feed bags? Well, this is what we're working on. So I'm working on these. You'll see more of these. And I already have people that want them. I'm not selling them. I'm just giving these away to promote farming. And uh, so that's kind of what the deal is with these. And, of course, if you saw our previous video, I'm eating. I'm eating the uh, venison stew type dish. And it's really good. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm getting old, must be. I have one of these barbecue lamps next to my sewing machine just to see, <laughs> to get it through. I have all the light I can. It's pretty dark in here. And Mr. Kitty is usually, usually around, but he does take a long nap during the day, so he goes into his bachelor pad. I have toys and stuff in there, so I put him in there because yesterday he was, like, poking his head through here, and I don't want him to get hurt, so... Okay, we'll see you in our next video. Like, subscribe, and let me know if you sew, if you would like to learn to sew. And uh, this is a great time to think about it because you can get a sewing machine for sometimes about 100 bucks at Kmart, Walmart, those types of places. Um, just, you know, look, it doesn't matter what brand it is as long as it works. <laughs> it doesn't have to have a bunch of dials and things. Sometimes the more dials it has, you have, the more you have to learn, and sometimes just basic is all you need to get started. Okay, guys, we'll see you in our next video. God bless, and uh, pray for me as I do these feed bags. We'll see you in our next video.